I'm uh, taking a little break right now in uh, <clears throat> a place I really like. It's called Tortas Gigantes. They make really good Eskimos. And uh, they also have great torta sandwiches, um, enchiladas, and things like that. So uh, if you're in ZY, you definitely should check it out. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about cell phone plans here in Mexico. It's a question I've had come up a few times uh, recently and give a little bit of insight. Uh, we tell you what I know about them and how they work. Um, the main one that people use down here is Telcel. And if you're coming down for a couple months and um, you want something that's simple uh, to use to call back to home and to make local calls here, this is a pretty easy way to go about it. You just go, there's there's a Telcel, I'd say on every block, but the, it's like Starbucks. There's like five of them on every block, so you won't have any problem finding them. And what works, you just get a SIM card from them and it costs generally about 150 to 200 pesos a month for service. When I had it, I could not get the internet to work on my phone. I brought down an old phone and just used that as my um, Mexican phone for, uh, for a few months to figure out what we were gonna do as a longer term solution. But, um, but it worked great for phone calls and for messaging. So that's the easiest thing to do when uh, you're down here if you just need a, a simple um, solution for making phone calls and it worked for calls here in Mexico as well as uh, the United States and Canada. Uh, the other option that is down here, and there's only two as far as I know, is AT&T and we have an office locally. There's just the one here and uh, again it's pretty easy though. We bought phones from the states and brought them down here to use. You can purchase cell phones in Mexico, but they're actually a lot cheaper. I mean, if you want an iPhone, uh, something that costs a thousand dollars in the states costs twelve hundred dollars here because they don't have the same uh, trade agreements with China. So when we went into AT and T, which was a little over a year ago, we ended up paying four thousand four hundred and eighty-four pesos for a two-year plan per phone line. Uh, they don't have like family plans or anything like that. It's basically you can either pay as you go or you can pay up front for a certain amount of time. Uh, so we paid up front at that moment. It was almost 25 to 1, the peso to dollar. So we <laughs> ended up getting the plans for it averaged out to $92 per year. And that gave us four, four gigabytes per month each, as well as. Um, unlimited messaging, phone calls throughout North America. Um, so it really worked out to be a great plan. And that again, is, it's been great. We've had it for every year, so we think it's worth it. Um, I stopped by there earlier today, and um, I'll show some of the plans they have right now. It's a little more expensive, but it's still, I mean, compared to the United States and probably Canada, it's much, much cheaper. Um, the other thing is that there's Wi-Fi in a lot of the restaurants, obviously all the hotels, places you stay are going to have Wi-Fi, so you're not going to use that much data, um, you know, uh, outside of just when you're um, in a, a place like this <laughs> where they're not going to have Wi-Fi. So, um, so anyways, so that's a little bit of uh, information. Oh, and on Telesel. The way it works is you know you pay for 26 days or two weeks a month, and then when you uh, when you want to uh, re-up for another whatever amount of time, you just stop back into a Telcel. Oxo actually does it as well, and you give them your phone number, you pay them the 150 pesos or whatever, and they'll just re-up you right there. So, um, so anyway, so hopefully that helps explain a little bit about how it works. And uh, good luck. All right, thanks for watching.